Welcome back, everyone. Tonight, there is new reporting on the fallout following former Penn President Liz McGill's resignation. She agreed to step down over the weekend after delivering some controversial testimony during a congressional hearing on campus anti-Semitism. McGill made no mention of what played out on Capitol Hill in her resignation letter, but said it was a privilege to serve as president. Now, the search is on for the next one. Here's CBS Philadelphia Chief Investigative Reporter Joe Holden. Good afternoon. Things are relatively quiet here on the University of Pennsylvania campus following this weekend's moves where the president and the chairman of the board of trustees both resigned. Some students say there's no question she had to go. Others tell me they're focused on their finals. Students on Penn's campus are winding down the semester. Many kept on walking when we asked to chat with them about the Liz McGill controversy. It is a context dependent decision, Congresswoman. The president's public missteps a week ago before a congressional hearing sealed her fate with sources saying she lost the support of the university's powerful board of trustees. I mean, did it take you by surprise? Were you thinking something a little bit more, uh, you know, ceremonial? It's funny because I was actually, I was doing, I was mid-workout, I was working out and I found these guys walked into the gym and they're like, Liz McGill just resigned. So it was kind of, it was kind of a shock. Penn has been plagued by reported instances of anti-Semitism this semester. Students have protested the university's otherwise tepid response. McGill had been criticized for weeks. Even today, a camp out style teach-in continues in Houston Hall over the university's response to the ongoing Israel. Israel-Hamas war. We just have to keep advocating for Palestinian life and for the intertwined safety of Palestinian, Jewish, and allied students across campus. Penn's reputation took a major hit in the ongoing controversy. Donors threatened to retreat. One pledging 100 million announced he was no longer donating. You stand here on the ground as a first-year student at Penn. Does the school's reputation suffer at all with what has happened? I don't think so. I think that Although there's a lot of donors that have retracted their donations, there are so many amazing people who have come out of Penn. With the incoming winter break, some students say they're hopeful that tensions can ease here. On the campus of the University of Pennsylvania, Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia. And shortly after McGill's announcement, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik posted one down, two to go, referencing leaders at Harvard and MIT who face similar lines of questioning. More than 70 members of Congress from both parties have called on the university presidents to step down, while the House Education Committee has opened an investigation. This story continues to develop day by day. We're keeping you updated right here and streaming around the clock on CBS News Philadelphia.